Madden 24 title update, September 16th, or September 1st. I don't know why I'm on 16th. Uh, 2023, let's talk about some of the updates coming to Madden 24. Obviously, with the tournament wrapping up, we're going to be getting some updates. And I uh, wanted to just kind of go over the Grid Iron Knights with you. Now, if you're looking to get better at Madden in general, uh, I really encourage you to join the Patreon. What's cool about the Patreon is it gets you access to all the ebooks. We have over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks out right now. And every single month seems like in Madden, especially peak Madden season, there's going to be updates that are going to change the way the game plays. What's cool about being a Patreon member is you get access to the ebooks, but you also get access to all of the updates to those ebooks as long as you're in the Patreon. So we're going to be updating the ebooks over the course of the next couple of days with anything that changed based off the title update. Every time there's a patch or a change in the game, it always changes little things. That sometimes I don't detail in these notes. Um, so just kind of keep that up, keep that in the back of your head. But uh, let's talk about it and uh, really enjoy, uh, really enjoy Madden 24. I think there's a lot of decent things about this Madden. I think there's some some definite things that need to be changed. So let's get into it. Here's the what we're hearing from you. Um, first and foremost, I think the most important thing is passing accuracy. We've heard players feedback about passing accuracy, specifically inside of Ultimate Team gameplay. This title update does not include any update or tuning to passing accuracy. As the player content in Ultimate Team progresses, the passing ratings get better. The expectation is that it will become more accurate. I disagree with that. And the reason why is because I've had a problem with inaccurates all year long in regs, in mutt, uh, regardless of thresholds. They do need to fix passing accuracy. I don't know why that was not fixed. Um, and low key, um, what we might see is we might see these dead eyes become much more important, like roaming dead eye, pocket dead eye, um, so that you can not have these inaccurates because the inaccurates are are bad. Like I literally will do videos and sometimes like he'll under, he'll overthrow the drag or underthrow the drag or throw the ball into the third row. That's a little bit out. That's a little bit out of line. So hopefully um, the community will respond. But let's get into the main gameplay fixes. And there's a couple big ones. Tuning to allow defense more time to make adjustments versus hurry up offenses. Number one problem so far, I think, is inaccurate. Number two problem is defensively the way Madden has played for the first couple of weeks is you literally can't make an adjustment. I get so many comments in my videos that basically say we can't do all those things because we're getting quick hike to death. My response is everybody's getting quick hike to death. So run Mike with zero and pray. Right. That's kind of what it's been. Uh, I really think. They have that has to change, and and the reason it has to change is there was a Madden. It's actually one of the first Maddens I got into. Is Madden twelve, and the quick hike was was actually might have been even better than it is this year because you could do unlimited hot routes and you could snap the ball as fast as possible. So you could no huddle, go to the line, set up a play, and snap the ball within like two seconds, right? So uh, I, I just think like in general, Madden already favors offensive, offensive, right? So having the no huddle be so effective where you literally, because in order to make a stop at Madden, you generally speaking do have to make some adjustments. You have to adjust your coverages, especially if you're playing a good player. So give us an opportunity to play defense. Uh, it's really what I ask. So I'm, I'm hopeful that, I'm really hopeful that that fixes that. I, I So far on Twitter, it seems like that it has improved it. Um, so that's just, that's a good change. It, it, was, def, uh, it was definitely overpowered. Fix an issue causing edge pass rushers to shed to the inside too frequently. I'm not sure what they're talking about there. Um, I don't think sh sheds were actually in a pretty good spot. So I'm not sure on that one. Um, users to draw defenders out of coverage on gun empty. Yeah, that I mean, the draws, and the RPOs like uh, some Madden players are talking about this on Twitter. I don't like RPOs at all. And I wish they would just take them out of the game because they're literally broken. They're not, they're not, um, I've yet to play a Madden where RPOs have been like the way they're supposed to be. Um, there's always some kind of broken element. Either it's broken in favor of the offense or it's broken in favor of the defense. And I just don't think like, honestly, I'd rather they just take it out of the game and put it in NCAA. But um, anyway, is what it is. Okay, this right here is a problem right here. This is trip side in. And it's also a bun bunch by flex. It's also in it. They don't put it in here. Hopefully it's fixed, but it's short side bunch as well. This is a problem. When you would run a wheel route to short sides of the fields, whether it be out of um, or the boundary in, in this case, whether it would be short side of the field, wide side of the field, wheel routes work properly. Short side of the field, they would literally just stop moving. They would run into the, they would run out of, to the out of bounce line and they would literally just freeze. So hopefully that fixes that. Um, that was definitely a problem. Um, 
shotgun mesh plays. That's not a yeah. That actually was a thing. Um, let's see the freeze deal with the Waddle celebration, some of the celebration stuff. Okay. Um, so basically what I'm reading here, updated a play in the Bucks playbook referring, referencing the Seahawks. So they did some stuff with the playbooks. Honestly, what I'm seeing here is not a whole lot of changes in terms of blitzing, at least that they've documented. So we'll have to test the blitzes in the Patreon. You get a blitzing ebook. What's cool about that is we update that all year long with every blitz that you have in the game. So any good blitz in Madden, we teach you in the Patreon ebook. It's not it's not formation specific. You get all the blitzes in one ebook and um, every patch we have to go through and just test and make sure do all the blitzes work? Do they not work? Do we need to change things? And um, it looks like they didn't. According to this, they didn't patch any uh, any blitzes from what I'm seeing here. So interesting. I'm kind of surprised uh, that might be they might do that after uh, MCS. Maybe what they're thinking here. Tuning and fixes to make the following abilities more effective. Interesting. Um, OK, so they basically like roided inside shade, outside shade. They literally say in here that they're roiding inside shade and outside shade. It's already a man-to-man -man meta. So there you go. That's going to be interesting to watch that. Uh, double or nothing. I think this year's Madden sheds like a three-man rush, play coverage. Not a bad way to play. And then mixing in a Sin 5, not too shabby. So um, a lot of good changes here. Uh, I, I do think we're going more toward a Sin 5 or Sin 3 game where you want to send five if you want to get pressure. And if you want to play coverage, you want to send three, especially if I put double or nothing on my three down lineman, I want to test that out. But if we could get like some decent sheds, I'm not saying overpowered. I'm just saying like decent sheds level, you know, um, this, this double or nothing deal could be a thing. So that's just some stuff to think about. Um, I'm not big into franchise, so I'm not going to cover that. That's for other YouTubers. Uh, but what I did want to talk about is the primary gameplay fixes. And from what I'm seeing here, this is the biggest change right here. Tuning to allow the defense more time to make adjustments versus hurry up offense. So we will be testing that and checking that out. Um, but hopefully that's going to help people have a little bit more of a chance on the defensive side of the ball. And we'll see. I actually low key like that. They're not wholesale changing things uh, at the end of the day. When they try to wholesale change things, it normally breaks something else. So my hope is these are just kind of like fine tuning issues. Uh, so hopefully uh, this will be a good change. I do think that with the way they want to play, like the way they're wanting us to play defense this year is they're basically saying, again, based off this right here, none of the loop blitzes got touched. So because none of the loop blitzes got touched, now if we have time to make adjustments behind the loop blitz, they're kind of wanting us to play that way. So um, just something to think about. Uh, I do think it's going to be a man coverage meta primarily due to this right here. They're trying to make inside shade, outside shade more viable and um, which everyone's going to run inside shade, outside shade when you can in mud anyway. So um, interesting. So interesting deal. I was kind of hoping for his own coverage meta. I'd like to see somewhere in here tuning his own coverages to make flats play better, to make cloud flats play better, all that. Haven't seen that yet. So, but all in all, um, these are the gridiron notes and for the September 1st title update. Hopefully this passing accuracy, accuracy thing um, I'm, I'm really concerned about that. So hopefully that improves. If it doesn't send five play man and then drop and then drop eight and play man pretty decent way to play defense right now. So thanks for watching the video guys. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon 10 bucks, get you access to all the eBooks, all the updates to eBooks, everything that you need to become a better Madden player. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.